my most craziest Christmas memory um, was probably two years ago, 2014. I bought this big red Christmas tree because I wanted to impress my son. Like, look, we got a red Christmas tree. But the joint would not fit in my house. <laughs> and it left, like, my whole ceiling red. I was so mad. Like, I'm never getting no stupid red Christmas trees again, man. My favorite Christmas memory was actually last Christmas when after Christmas, everybody, including my mother-in-law, with my husband and all of our children, with our blended family, slept in our bed. All of us fell asleep in our bed on Christmas. It was like 18 of us in that bed. Too many. When my husband dressed up as Santa Claus, he's six foot six, so you can imagine the size of this Santa Claus. And it was hilarious. And he came and he tried to climb down through the chimney and got stuck. And it was, we freaked out. We were calling the fire department, but I found a way to get him out. So yeah, that was my craziest and funnest Christmas. Honestly, like probably getting drunk with my whole family. Even people that didn't drink, we were all just drunk. That was a good time. <laughs> My mother got mad at my sister and knocked the entire Christmas tree over, filling our entire living room, and it had to be completely restructured <laughs> the day before Christmas. But it's just my grandmother, like, I miss my grandmother, just, you know, Christmas carols and, you know, the music playing and all the candy. My grandmother, she used to always give us castor oil in the morning so we could eat candy all day and we wouldn't be sick, but mind you, we'd be up a storm throughout the house. So, I mean, that was love. But at the end of the day, I, I miss the long prayers. Like, I miss family holding hands around the dinner table and grandma saying, like, a 30-minute prayer, and we think that we can eat in the middle of it. Those are the good old days. I gotta have a baby or something, baby. Start this tradition over.